Good day and welcome to DIY e-liquid recipes. Today we are going to take a look at something a little different. This is a very nice novelty flavor that tastes very close to the real monster energy drink. So this one is Green Goblin Energy by Flavor West. It is a fairly popular flavor among people that enjoy the drink and many of them say that it tastes very close to it. So naturally I decided to get some and give it a quick try. I mixed two batches, both at 50-50 vegetable glycerin and propylene glycol without any nicotine for the most neutral taste possible. The first batch was mixed at 6% and the second one was mixed at 12% and both were steeped for about 9 days. The results are that this flavor tastes slightly fruity, it has a candy-like sweetness, it is slightly sour, and it has a full solo flavor that can stand good even by itself alone. Some negative points that I found also are that it gets a little chemical tasting when used higher than 10%, also it becomes a little dry from 10% and higher, and that it will cover other weaker flavors even when used at equal ratios with some exceptions of course. So for solo use, I would recommend trying it from 5 up to 7% and for a bold vape use it from 7 up to 11%. Now since this is such a good copy of the real drink, I decided to make a monster drink e-juice by using only a few additional flavors but not so much for their own taste but to fix or cover the weak points inside this flavor. So this is a monster e-juice recipe, which is ideal for low watt vaping and also good to be used as a flavor reset if you have been vaping creams or pastries for too long. So starting there is 7.5% of green goblin energy, then 0.5% of golden pineapple from Capella, just to add some extra fruit, then 0.5% of pear from flavor art to add a little more candy sweetness, then 1% of green apple from Capella to boost the sour profile but without using any more citrus, and then 0.25% of smooth from TFA together with 1% of sucralose type sweetener. The last two are not mandatory but they will help a lot with the mouthfeel of this recipe. Then this is mixed at 65% of vegetable glycerin and 35% of propylene glycol. Here is the recipe altogether in a better picture. You could always try to use alternative flavors if you don't have them all on hand. Now steep this for about 5 days but it could also work good as a shaken vape. Just mix it well and then let it sit until all the bubbles have settled. Now when you vape this e-liquid you will pretty much taste a very close version of the monster drink flavor. It won't taste exactly the same since there is no carbonation but it will taste very similar to a monster syrup or something you would mix at home from crystals. It's sweet, light and with a touch of some fresh fruits making it a smooth and refreshing vape. So altogether it smells and tastes pretty spot on. In a quick summary before closing, I want to say that Green Goblin Energy tastes very good and if you enjoy the drink or you're after a mild sweet and sour vape, then this flavor will definitely not disappoint you. Now if you already have Green Goblin Energy, leave your thoughts about it in the comments and let us know how you like to usually use it too. Now once more, thank you for watching until the end and I will see you again next time.